STILL GOING ON AS WE SPEAK, A FIRESTORM DEBATE GOING LATE INTO THE NIGHT AS PEOPLE PACK A MEETING TO DECIDE IF WALMART SHOULD GET THE GREEN LIGHT TO BUILD A SUPER CENTER IN McCandless TOWNSHIP. PITTSBURGH'S ACTION NEWS 4 INVESTIGATOR BOFTA, YOU MOM, NO ONE IS HOLDING BACK TONIGHT. AND WE'RE STILL WAITING ON A DECISION, RIGHT, BOFTA? Folks here very fired up tonight and still into the night. This debate is going on. More than 400 people inside. Right now, the hot topic the land development application, the zoning application, because if that goes through, this is a big step forward for Walmart. And it's been a tough night for Walmart to hear so many of the things that folks are saying against their company. And most people here say they want just a fair shot to respond and ask for more time to look over the information. Some neighbors even hired. A lawyer just three hours before tonight's meeting. The big complaint traffic congestion and the impact on the nearby park. Tonight's debate focusing on zoning applications, as I mentioned, council voted five to two in favor of the subdivision portion of that application. Again, right now, still a debate going on for the land development. Walmart's attorneys say they will not give an extension, but that's exactly why some residents were so frustrated and willing to go to court over it. Take a listen. So we can get on with the night. Important to emphasize that the people here tonight, however concerned and sincere that they are, don't represent the community. We build stores. Wait, what do you mean they don't represent the community? They live here. They don't represent the entire community. When our Walmart is built, you'll see that it's very popular with customers. And uh, now you say when our Walmart is built, meaning that's already going to happen? I hope so. Now, if council does not vote by August 4th, then the application is deemed approved without restrictions. And that doesn't sit well with the folks inside tonight. Reporting live in McCandless, I'm Bofti Imam, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.